Wait, I love this so much. It is a delightful chill on the scalp. I'm actually getting hotter doing this. It does feel so smooth. Hi guys, it's Jess. I found this amazing cryocare hairbrush by Babyless that's basically a cold brush cryotherapy tool for your hair. Ooh, there she is. Much smaller than I thought. It's like brush. And then I'm assuming this is like a little air conditioner for your hair. A little hair conditioner. It has like spiky bristles and then it has more of like a rubberized bristle here. This thing claims to make hair shinier. It claims to make it look healthier. It claims to add moisture and fight frizz. So I am so in. You can use it on your hair when it's wet or dry, but it doesn't claim to straighten or dry your hair. So it's kind of just like a step before you blow dry to make everything smooth and shiny and aligned, or a step after you style to add some moisture back into your hair. So today I'm going to try one of its purported uses, which is to use it on a second day blowout, which I'm like day three right now, so that's fine. You're supposed to use it on your dry hair to break up oils at the root and detangle and make your hair feel lighter and fresher. Okay, so this part is like freezing cold. It's literally like a tiny air conditioner. This is so funny. You know, like when you plug in an air conditioner and you can feel the hot air blowing out the back, hot air here, vent, freezing cold. Okay, we're just, we're gonna go for it. Oh my gosh, it feels so nice on my hair. It is so hot in here right now. And that was like having a little mini air conditioned hairbrush. <laughs> Wait, I love this so much. Even if it doesn't do anything to my hair, it's such a nice cooling sensation. We'll leave this side undone and then we'll do this side to see. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Like literally cool. I'm definitely seeing some added shine over here. Look, this is the shiny side. And this is the untreated side. I gotta say the, tr the flip side of having this nice cool plate on my head is when this hot air blows on my face, it's miserable. <laughs> At first it claimed that it was going to make my hair look cleaner and uh, feel lighter and fresher. Um, cannot confirm. <laughs> Did it decrease frizz? Maybe, maybe a bit. I can see like less, yeah, I would say it did lessen the frizz a little bit. I see less of that like, hey, like halo that I tend to get around my hair. So I have heat styled my hair, I straightened the roots and I curled it. We're going to see how this works on heat styled hair because that is another intended use for the cryo care brush. So normally I will comb out my curls like with my fingers after I'm done styling, but I skipped that step so that I could do it with this cryo care brush um, and see how it, how it looks. I feel like this is definitely pulling the curl out more than I typically like. Maybe it's better for hair that's been straightened instead of curled. It's interesting. It like pulled out the curl in the back half, but it's not pulling out the curl in the front half. So far, it feels really great. Um, but I'm not seeing much of a difference on how it looks or feels on dry hair. Um, granted, it does say it's supposed to be used daily, so it's possible that as I use it more, the results will build up over time. But it also says it works really well on wet hair. So I am going to wash my hair sometime in like the next week, maybe. <laughs> and then I will use it on my wet hair, and then I'm gonna let it air dry curly. I'm gonna try it on a couple of my friends and see if it works on their hair any differently or any better than mine. Oh my god, wait, that got your hair so smooth. Here we go. Wait, do like that one again. piece again. Yeah, that was crazy. I feel like that's working so much better on yours than it does on mine. Holy sh shnikes. Do you feel like that looks smoother too? Well, yeah, look at the frizz below. And then wait, look at that that's one. Wild. Look, wow. That that did something. That did more than just a brush, but less than a flat iron. Yep. Just polished it. It's not like a frizzy, it's not like, you know, know uh, sleepy hair. That was actually a really tangible difference on your hair. Mermaid hair. She's a mermaid. Does it feel good on your hair? It feels wet. Oh, it does feel wet? Yeah. It feels good when you like really push it to your head. It looks really soft on your hair though. 
I don't know, it definitely looks shinier. Yeah. On that side. Do you feel like it does too? I don't know about shine, but it definitely looks smoother. I'm actually getting hotter doing this. <laughs> yeah, because it throws out so much heat from the vents on the side here, right? Yeah. You can feel the heat when you like brush underneath. It just collects under your hair. Mm. Ooh. What do you think? It is a delightful chill on the scalp. <laughs> It feels like I'm combing, but I'm also like putting an ice pack directly on my scalp. I feel like it almost could get colder. That's pretty much or it. Maybe I'm going too fast. You wish it could get colder? I want it colder. I feel like I either need someone else to do this or I need it to get much colder. Does it feel like it's zero degrees? Yeah. Does it feel like it's 32 degrees? It, it feels like it's a, a cooler's light that the Rockies are still like blue, but not like blue blue. When or if? Would you see yourself using this? <laughs> if well, and when, would I don't you, know what my if hair and when would you use? use? Uh, well, oh Jesus, maybe all the time. <laughs> uh, before I have, uh, I would say before formal events, because that's probably the only time I'm gonna brush my hair. Okay, show us the after. Here's the glamour shot. There it is. Who wouldn't use it? So I just washed my hair and I want to try the cold brush a different way today. I wanna to try it on my hair when it's wet because it says that it's specifically great for curly hair, which as you can see, I, I have. And it says that it can make your hair conditioned and frizz free and who wouldn't want that, especially curly girls. I don't typically brush out my hair before I air dry it, but if this thing can actually make my hair smooth and shiny and frizz free, especially in this humidity right now, I'm definitely gonna try it. I don't know, it feels so sacrilege to be combing my hair out when it's wet to be curled, but that actually was so gratifying. It does feel so smooth. Like it feels way more conditioned as I just pass through here. It does feel way softer with this brush than it would with a normal brush or a comb or something. Even though I do have a bit of like smoothing product in my hair, this is like Noti noticeably smooth feeling. This looks so silky and nice. Okay, styling cream and air drying next, and I will keep tabs on my journey today as we go through the process. We just got back from a walk outside. Yes, we did. We just got back from a walk, and I'm on hour four of an air dry. You know, it's it's humid out, but the whole claim of this brush is that it's supposed to smooth your hair out and fight frizz, and I am just simply not seeing it in my hair. So far, this is 0 for 2 for my hair. It has been six hours since I have used the cold brush. I'm very interested to hear from Birner to see what this technology is all about and if there's anything to it. Maybe this isn't a hit for Babyliss, but at the same time, they do have a lot of top performing products in other beauty lab tests. So their flat iron is a gold standard in the beauty lab and their hair dryer has performed really well in beauty lab tests as well. Can you start by telling me a little bit about how you test hair tools like this in the beauty lab typically? Okay, so Jess, when we formally test products, our test typically consists of some lab tests plus some consumer tests. Since this device is rather unique, I personally did a road test first to make sure that if it's even worth trying a formal test. And I also did some quick temperature measurements at home with a handheld infrared thermometer to see how cold or hot its surfaces got. How cold did it get? Because when I was using it, it did not feel like it was 32 degrees. There are points that it approaches 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the freezing point of water, right? But it, everything else is like, especially the tips of the brushes, etc., do not really get that low. I also noticed that the side of the brush surfaces, right? There is air flow coming from the sides and that's quite warm. It actually touches the warm air first and then it will cut, touch the cold surface. So when I looked at the temperature of this, it ranges anywhere from 80 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not like a hot hair dryer, but it definitely is warm. Was there anything that you found as far as the smoothing or lining or the healthier look, um, even just using it on your own hair? Like what did you find in your experience? The device, the head is kind of heavy, the bristle hang on to your hair quite a bit. So you're applying quite a bit of attention to your hair. So 
there's some aligning that might be resulting because of this tension. If we were aligned to our hair strands, right, and made them smoother and less frizzy, it can increase shine because as light will reflect better from smoother surfaces. Of course, shiny hair signals healthy, right? You know, it's less damage or whatever, like aligned. You've been keeping the price a secret from me. I need to know how much does the Cryo Care brush actually retail for? This retails for $149.99. That is quite the investment for a cooling hair brush. And honestly, if it did what it said, perhaps that would be worth it. But for me, um, I don't think I saw enough of a benefit to want to invest that much money into the cryo care brush, but perhaps for someone it may work.